Today is my day. Today is my day. Baba, open your heavens over me. Baba. Show for it. 
This year, 2021, I pray little neighbor, greater harvest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh-huh. Hey. I pray for you that you will not labor with your strength. Amen. The Holy Ghost itself will take over that labor from you. We give you favor. Amen. Of water, many water. What do you now do? It will provide a bountiful harvest. 
best. Hey, can you hear me? That very thing to come. Yes. Weather as. Oh, the Lord, the river of the Lord is full of water. Yes. He said that when it's full of water, it's not pursued multiple harvests. And what do you want this year? Multiple harvests. What do you want this year? Multiple harvests. And what do you want this year? Multiple harvests. What do you want this year? Multiple harvests. What do you want this year? Multiple harvests. Abundant harvest. So when the rivers of God that is full of water flow into your life, then you are going to have what? Bountiful harvest. In verse 10, what does it say? That water is the riches thereof abundantly. You water the riches thereof abundantly. In other words, every department of your life, God will water it. Amen. That is the riches. Every department, go where? Tattoo are like here. You know, I get it. See your own money, see your calling, see your identity, see your sharing. Every department of your life this year, the Lord will water them. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Uh -huh. That second the good of Jero. Uh -huh. That make it so with showers. You make it so soft with showers. That blessing is bringing Jero. And your bless is cross. Is cross. So there is a blessing of God that is coming upon your seed. Amen. Upon what you are going. Amen. So when heaven is open, there will be a divine visitation. God Himself coming down in His mighty names. And He will be asking you what do you need this year. God will come and visit you and say, Wow, you don't have this in your life. And I'm come to bless you with it. That is God's visitation. Amen. When God visits you, you don't need to be running a task sketcher and be looking for what you are going to use to do to do what a visitation of God. How can you more officially go no, no, no. His visitation is to bless you. He's just talking about the governor of this state now or the president of this nation visiting you. And you are going to tell a task sketcher that what are you going to use to take care of him? No, to entertain him. No. When he visits, he comes with a courage. And you know that his visitation is bringing what? Blessing. So you have opportunity to say, your SLS is sad. And whatever you ask that day is given to you. You are not the one, you know, taking care of it. You will take care of it. So God is visiting you this year. In his mightiness, is coming to you, that woman. And he saying, I want to bless you. And I'm blessing you abundantly. And somebody shall not visit me. Jesus. So his visitation supply all your needs. I will shatter your needs. I want us to I want to give all this prayer point. Throughout this year, at the beginning of the week, cry to God, Lord, visit me this week. And if you don't see blessing, ah, you say, God, you have not visited me, I have not seen your visits. So when you cry, ever visit me. Why they go? Why they let them back in the boat? Why they go show you in it? And they come and they have their way. Lord, why they walk down? Why they do? He will bless you abundantly. In the name of Jesus. And it says, you enrich it. Enrichment will come to every department of our lives. In other words, there will be provision. Provision will come abundantly when the Lord opens the heavens. I want every one of us to be rest assured. That this year, 2021, year of our abundant habits, you will not lack anything good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this year, my you will not lack anything good. Oh, this year, my dear, 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 Anything good. Say in your 2021. I will not lack anything good. Say every good thing of life will come to me abundantly. Because my heaven is open. In the name of Jesus. Say good amen. So God's blessing will flow from heavens to earth like rain falling from the crown. When the heaven is open, if I call a sheep, if you call a sheep, you so if Oruto Shine, the open level is commanding rain to fall. And open level will enable us to obtain breakthroughs that we need for your life. Every one of us will need one breakthrough or the other. 
So every of your breakthrough is open in the name of Jesus. When every one what happened, angel of God, the angel of the Lord will be descending and ascending. Angel of the Lord, when Jacob slept at Bethel and he put stone as his pillow, he said he saw the vision of heaven that heaven was open and angel descending and ascending. Now, what is angel descending to come and do? What are they ascending for? When angels descend, they come with blessing. They give you blessing and they go again and bring what? Another blessing. And until you are filled, until you have the abundance, there will stop. There will be a trafficking egg. It's a trafficking of angels. I'm getting a man, no one who will put it, not to one of your own, one to Pada, one of my own. Can I pray for somebody today? Amen. Because of you, did you have this year? Every week, and then we go to heaven, Amen. and we bring out your blessing. Amen. Then we ascend, Amen. then we descend because of heaven. My 
Please read it for you for me in King James Version, correct English Version, and Luther Version. I'm reading from New Living Translation now. Isaiah 64, verse number one. All that you burst from the heavens and come down, how the mountain will quake in your presence. Yes? Oh, 
You want God to open new investment, new doors for you this year. Step before the altar. You are saying, God, I need multiple income. I don't want to be, I don't just want to have just one, one income. Listen, when you have a single income, you can't have abundance in Shepherd. Are you listening to me? Hey, all this salary and no other business. This year must be different. Amen. Those people that have abundance, that live in abundance, go and look at them. They don't have one source of income. Are you listening to me? They don't have one source of income. God will give you ideas this year. Amen. Heavenly ideas Amen. that will generate multiple income. Listen to me. You, God is going to give you some revelation as from this moment. Amen. And what that revelation is going to do for you is that God will teach you what to do. Amen. What nobody has ever done before. Amen. He will give you that idea. Amen. And please, when God is giving you that idea, write it down and execute it. Because every revelation, any idea that God gives, and you don't execute it with that, you won't see the result. Are you listening to me now? And the first thing that will come to your mind, where well, we are getting money to, to execute it, money is not important. Idea. I told us last year that idea rules the world, isn't it? Yes, sir. So God will give you the idea. Please go ahead and start. Don't say, I want to start until, until I have uh, 100,000. If it is 1,000, go and start with it. Say, hold on, my father. Hold on, my father. This is my year of abundance, Father. This is my year of abundance. As I stand before you, as I stand before you, rain upon me, rain upon me, ideas, ideas, revelation, revelation, vision, vision, dreaming, that will give me what to put in on. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I paralyze. I paralyze all and 
shaped in the yellow. Say, I paralyze you. I paralyze you in every area of my life. Every area of my life. And to be Then verse 28, he passed the box 
to fall within their camp and all around their tent. Yes. You see, when this plot is coming, it came and it was in their camp and it surrounded. I pray for somebody, your blessing this year will fall into your camp. Hey, hey. You, and I, you and I will be surrounded with blessing. Hey, hey. When you are coming. Look at you. Because of the 
you blessed? Eh? Why you are you blessed? Eh? You do you want to Why you want to you one thousand? Why you one thousand? And that's why you have close heaven. So it belongs to God. Also, read Malachi chapter three, verse ten. Then number three, you must be kingdom minded. I'm going to take you on coaching video. Come on, come on. Come and live for the Lord. No, no. Come and live for the Don't seek for earthly things. Look at those people that seek for earthly things. They have ten hearts. Last year that we have Corona, whatever. And everybody was locked down. So what they were going to be one. Can they drive the ten cars? Can they travel out? All the earthly goods that they have cannot save them. So seek you first. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, seek the kingdom of God first above all else and live righteously. And they will give you everything you need. That's what the Bible says. When your primary purpose is for the kingdom of God, the money that you ask God to read upon you, when God read that money for you, what are you doing with the money for? Don't be looking at some people tomorrow, do all the load. If I read money on this one, this one will not come to church again. This one will be purpose. That's why God will wait for it. But if God discovers that, yes, you are kingdom minded. Ah, if God should bless me, then I'll say, ah, I will transform this church. If God should bless me, I will propagate the gospel. That is the first thing. God will not read the blessed one. So be kingdom minded. Seeking for the kingdom of God and other things shall be on them. To my father, we now say, hey, Lord, hey, you are, I will seek other things first. When I now get other things, I will now use it to seek the kingdom of God. I will seek for the other things first. When I get other things, then I will now seek for the kingdom of God. It don't work that way. We ma koko wa go go go. E wi tan o fa ko fi kun yen ma koko to wa no. Ti ma ti ni owo yen eh. Ma le wa je bolo. Ti ma ti ni owo mi ni wa je bolo. O tun e bolo ko wa ni kini o. I jo ba olaru. Seek the kingdom of God first. And when you think it, seek it first and you live righteously and it will give you everything you need. Everything. Baba yede ko. Say when he discovered this scripture that seek you first the kingdom of God. And it's like, and all other things shall be there. Baba screamed, he said, I can never be poor again. I can never be poor again. Yeah. So that's why he was seeking the kingdom. Let's seek God's kingdom. If you want to get a fair deal, not a fair deal. All what is happening around us is a signal that the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes, we will get wet. Yes, we will get rich. But if it's at the detriment of the kingdom of God, you are going nowhere. Every will come one day. Anything can happen this year. But when your goal is the kingdom of God, then you will not be afraid. I pray that God will make us to seek after his kingdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then number four, give acceptable offering to God. Give acceptable offering to God. And follow on your to shake in your to shake. God does not accept every offering, but you can give in a such a way that your offering will be acceptable to you. And don't be afraid of all of that fantasy. Or you should talk about because you are bringing it. You are bringing it with your heart. Feel the heart. Feel the hands. So make sure that your offering that you are giving to God, this is acceptable. In Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse twelve. Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse twelve. Whatever you give. It's acceptable if you give it eagerly. I'm reading from New New Living Translation. If you give it eagerly, say and give it according to what you have, not what you don't have. And in verse, it's the verse uh, chapter nine, verse seven. Say Second Corinthians nine seven. Say you must say you must each decide in your heart how much you want to give, and don't give reluctantly or in response to prayer. And we never think, oh my joy, and we never think back in the moment. So that is in response to prayer. Don't let, don't let them prioritize you because you give. Give willingly. That is acceptable sacrifice. God loves a person who gives cheerfully. So if you want to give this year, and you want God to bless your giving, want God to bless your offering, give from your heart. And let your heart give. The second thing, your Offering was based upon the amount of, of, of the good thing that God is doing for you. 
you already. In those days, when they bring office to God, some people bring cow, some people bring ram. The different thing according to their capacity. And so say, God is more than this. So give something that's what, what God is doing in your life. Then number five, cast out fear. Ever bear. Don't give it to the spirit of fear this year. The Bible says we are not receiving the spirit of fear, but the spirit of sand man, where we call our father. So trust in God. Whatever is happening, don't listen to bad news. Don't listen to news that is that makes people be afraid. Emma problem when you reach the issue. Ah, Emma Trabo, ah, Emma Sikidio, Emma Bumbo, Emma Borio, Emma Botio, Emma Bodio. Emma Babu, Emma Bill, Emma, did you get a little bit of my sherry? Yes. God will tell you, go there. Ah, if I should go there, give this to So don't give up to fear. The number six is operating faith. Strong faith is the raw material to possess every promise of God. Hebrew chapter 11, verse 1 to 2. Then number seven, maintain proper relationship with God, with your spouse, your husband, your wife, with your relatives, people around you. Let you go only by the God, don't that way, not way in the end. Let people love you. Walk in love. Don't allow strife, bitterness. Don't give its way in your relationship. Some people, the relationship are supposed to bless you. You are fighting that relationship. I will tell you, so if you can do everything, you are going to have abundant hearts. Your heaven will be open. Then, number, I don't know, I don't know what I now. Number eight, number eight now, be willing to walk. Be as she shall. Second Thessalonians chapter 10, says that you can't expect harvest unless you plant a seed. Please walk. What did I say? What? Am I like a share with no jewel? Am I like a coach? Don't let the condo die. Stealing or robbing. 419, that is the bad thing. Any other one, please do it. Be ready to walk. Prostitution is not war. Be ready to do legitimate war. Don't mind the fact that I will buy the condo here. I knew some people now, they are millionaire. A friend of mine was telling me today, he said, he knew this guy that when there was nothing in his hand, because he could come from nowhere. The man said, Come to my house, come and be eating morning food and night food. Come and do the arrow, go the alley, the living. And the guy was struggling, graduate for that matter. So, any work, I may see shame, I may see shame, he won't do any work to survive. Now, he said, he, saw, he did those what he was doing now, he has got his back. He got everything back. He said he's no more in Lagos. He's in Abu Kutana. He just, just called. When they want to buy the land of the church, he just called me. So, so person. Ah, he said, do you know what to buy the church in this land now? He said, hey, Pastor, okay, Pastor, I'm coming. Give me some minutes. He said he just wired 500,000. This is somebody that was feeling the money the night before. He said, Pastor, just take that for now. I can't forget the morning food and the night food. And then they encourage me. So what I'm doing that he was willing to walk. That's why he got there. So you want to mind your leg. Then keep sin out of your life. That is number nine. Keep sin out of your life. Then speak the right thing into your life. So do that you are here. Master of rules, you are here. Whatever you say with your mouth will happen to you. Then please, any plague, any vow that you have. Vow in the past, God will remind you to pay those vows. Any vows, pledge you are making this year, don't let them force you. And officiate, and you pledge every month until they ask you, you don't give your pledge. You don't need to be asked. God remember. So be paying your pledge, be vow. And please don't love money too much. Money is a servant. So don't, don't love money, but love God more than money. And I want to say, finally, exercise patience. When you sow anything, don't expect instant harvest. Know that it takes time. So patient endurance is what you need now so that you continue to enjoy God's blessing. At times, you can get it when it's spiritual harvest. Now, immediately, and at times, it takes some time. Be waiting. Your harvest is coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you rest your feet in the name of Jesus? Say, I am blessed in the name of Jesus. I want us to give now to God. We want to give, we want to give. Those watching us online will see the account is 
online. Please, I want us to give generously. Don't forget our food. Let's give abundantly. Let's give lavishly to God. To God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we are giving cheerfully. We are giving with our heart. If you ask us to give up a seed and you change it, it is not a setting. So, if you talk about it, you can talk about it. So, you can talk about it. You can talk about it. You can throw away that seed. Not this seed. Let it be accepted with the name of Jesus. Amen. Tomorrow is the fire. Before the fire, which is outside, a sign of grace. You, that person, carry your testimony. Amen. You have received the keys to open heaven. This key, I pray, grace to use it at all times. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that every one of us this very year we will not miss our reward. Amen. We will not walk in vain. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You that is giving online, the Lord bless you. The Lord increase more and more. Thank you, blessed be the Lord. Thank you, Lord. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, Amen. and the sweet of the Holy Spirit, let us abide with us. Amen.